to you. The Melatos run a tight, organized ship at home. Rodrigo sets the table while Maria Cristina makes the pao de queijo, Brazilian cheese rolls. The couple have been married for three years and both work. Even at breakfast before work, discipline and rules are crucial. Exactly eight drops of sweetener in the coffee. Rodrigo's entire day is meticulously planned from start to finish. I want to go to the gym later. I haven't been once yet this month. The Melatos live in a two-bedroom apartment in the south of Sao Paulo. They moved here for work, with job opportunities better in the country's business capital than elsewhere in Brazil. It's a relatively wealthy neighborhood. Rodrigo is a salesman for German software giant SAP. He gets stuck in traffic every morning, but in a sense, he's already at work. You think he managed that well with IBM people? Great. I think that's good news. I'll pass it on right away. Thanks for the update. See you later. The population of Sao Paulo is rising along with its skyline. The biggest city in South America is already home to some 20 million people and continues to sprawl. This is very much a boom town. Rodrigo's first appointment of the day is with Eternet, a longtime customer of SAP. Rodrigo has been negotiating a potential deal for a new subsidiary of the building materials manufacturer. And today, he's hoping for some good news. The first thing I wanted to do was go through the projects. We've made our decision. We will continue to use SAP with our new company as well. So the day gets off to a great start for Rodrigo. Although SAP software does arguably sell itself, once companies have used the software for one area, they tend to install it across the board in administration, finance and personnel. Back on the streets of Sao Paulo, where Rodrigo spends up to three hours a day. In the seven years I've been living here, I've managed to advance professionally faster than would have been possible anywhere else in Brazil. And this city also offers a lot more on the personal front, not just professionally. Back at headquarters, SAP has a 1,500-strong workforce in Brazil, working in software development, sales and customer support. Business is good, thanks to sales talents like Rodrigo. He and a colleague are pitching to a new customer. They're hesitant, but Rodrigo has almost reeled them in. Are you aware that our software is used to compute 60% of the gross domestic product? Okay, let's sign the contract. Fine, goodbye. Rodrigo is one of the top salesmen behind SAP's success. Precise statistics aside, the head of Brazilian operations does know one thing for sure. 2011 was a good year for SAP worldwide and for us in Brazil. We set the objective of tripling our market share each year, and we managed to do that in each of the last two years. We're seeing growth in all segments, banking, the retail sector, farming, insurance, and the public sector. As for Rodrigo, he's back out again trying to clinch new deals. Good news. I have to go and see another new customer, and we'll probably finalize another contract today. I'll settle negotiations and come home with a new contract. After work, he plans to celebrate the day's success with his wife. As for his workout at the gym, that will have to wait for yet another day.